Back with the story new at 11. The debate over what happened at this Norfolk intersection once again made the national spotlight. Tonight, Virginia's Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli appeared on the O'Reilly Factor on Fox News Channel to explain an outside investigation into the beating of two Virginian pilot reporters is not warranted. And, and note there are two investigations going on right now. There are two of them, not just one, going on right now. If there was an indication that it was a cover-up instead of an investigation, then the state police could conduct their own investigation. But isn't the they're indication some already oversight there? Right now, isn't the indication already there? Not of there? a cover-up. No, well, not well, of well, a cover-up. Well, 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 let me there, challenge you on that, Mr. Attorney General. You have the two victims right, cause, who cause say... Right, because you have all the facts, Bill, just like Monday when you got it wrong right, on Monday. I got it wrong on Monday. Okay. Those investigations are of the initial mob attack that injured the two reporters. The second involves one of the reporters filing a claim about how one of the Norfolk officers treated her at the scene. The people in the mob were black. The reporters are white. O'Reilly claims authorities are covering up the incident because it was a racially motivated attack. Cuccinelli has not been asked to intervene in this case. He told us today he wants a clean case, a clean investigation, and to get it right. He told Wavy TV 10 that won't happen by following the rhetoric of Bill O'Reilly. Also on tonight's show, O'Reilly criticized a story we ran yesterday in which city officials and residents disagreed with the show's characterization of race relations in Norfolk. A producer for O'Reilly's show described race relations as a powder keg. People we spoke to, including the mayor and vice mayor, did not believe that was true. The O'Reilly factor did not answer the mayor and what the mayor and the vice mayor had to say in our story.